Karu Nakamura is playing for the win, even though his opponent has a pawn one step away from becoming a new queen. It's sensational the amount of risks Hikaru is taking here. It seems like Black is making some progress, finally, and... Well, he just made the decision to trade oh. off everything. He did get a draw, but that could very easily have been a win. It looks like it should be winning for BB Sara. I mean, Black only has that one queen in the attack, and White has an extra piece and lots of pawns. I think we are going to see a little bit of an upset in this game. And Muzichuk ends up losing on time, and Asobayeva confirms her excellent form by winning that matchup. This is incredible. Barto Sochko is up a piece against Magnus Carlsen. Sochko, playing in his native Poland, has a winning position, and Magnus resigns. Sochko is on a perfect score, having defeated the reigning world champion. The lead just keeps changing. Asobayeva has already been in the lead, and now she's going to get it back. I mean, because this game is about to be over. And Shuvalova has to resign. In the end, she was five pawns down. There's no hope saving that. We got Sindarov and Fedo save is actually the battle of the leaders on seven points out of eight. There's a pawn end game now, only pawns remaining, and Sindarov is going for the win! Sindarov is going for the win! Fedoseyev rushes his king back into defense, and the guys agree to a draw. Oh my gosh, and both of these players remain in the lead. Avronian with an extra pawn in the rook end game, and Fedoseyev, he's unable to do anything about the white pawns in conjunction with the white king just making their way up the board. It's yeah. over! Levon Avronian taking the lead in the tournament. Avronian rushing his king over to the left-hand side, trying to get rid of Black's rook. The king is now coming to the aid of the pawn that's only two squares away from becoming a new queen. And Avronian is making very good progress here. And Anish Giri resigns the game. Levon Avronian, 13 points. Fantastic result. He's playing so confidently. Hikaru Nakamura is not on the list. He tested positive for COVID and had to withdraw from the tournament. Bibi Sara has a one and a half point lead. She's gonna win it if she wins this one. And look at this, Bibi Sara with her queen can go for the queen trade. If the queens are traded, she's gonna win this game and she does go for it. The queens are traded off the board. The bishop coming in against the white king to give a check and Goryachkina resigns. Asobayeva is the world champion. A lot of credit to our women's world blitz champion, the young player from Kazakhstan for making her name known to the whole world. Maxim making his calculations. Can he stop that black pawn in time? And he thinks he can do that. After lots of captures, it's Avronian who's down by a pawn, but Avronian's king is unable to assist against the white king making its way forward. And Avronian now will resign the game. And what a stunning turnaround there. He made a couple of mistakes and the Frenchman capitalizes on that. Dubov trying to get his pieces pointing in towards Black's king, but Olivreza has a pawn one step away from becoming a new queen. And he has made a queen, and he knows that he can always sack that queen for the bishop, and that is the end of the game. And we're almost certainly guaranteed a tie for first place after the final game. He's using his queen to help out. That pawn is moving forward. And Avronian now, he's gonna have to resign. The pawn is becoming a new queen. Avronian does keep on playing, but there's no hope. He resigns the game. Was that the championship for Alireza Ferruja? Actually, it's definitely not the championship because Jan Christoph Duda has managed to win his game. So there will be a tie. The question is whether or not Maxim Vashiela Grab will be able to join them. And Vashiela Grab has beaten Magnus Carlsen. Jan Christoph Duda and Maxim Vashiela Grab will be playing for the gold medal. It's less than 30 seconds on the clock for Duda who needs to figure out this endgame. And he chooses yeah, to he push to... his pawn forward. Exactly. He chose to protect it with this rook before, not going in for that trade where he might lose a pawn. Yeah, the pawns are just getting exchanged off and the guys agree to a draw. The handshake there, a solid game from Duda. 
Duda is actually giving away his bishop. A strange decision from the Polish player there. He chooses to move the one knight, uh, losing the other. I'm not thrilled about where White took this position, because certainly he's not better at all in this endgame. Duda is going to have to play for a draw. Yeah, certainly I don't see any danger at all oh. for Black to just agree to a draw. Now, to find the victor of this tournament, we're gonna play one game at a time, and if someone wins, that is the world champion. Maxim Bashir Lagrav now in the end game. Duda trying to use his king to stop White's king from getting into the game. But here, Maxim Bashir Lagrav is able to capture another pawn on the side of the board. Two extra pawns for him now. Duda resides Maxim Bashir Lagrav, the world champion in 2021. And here we see Maxim Bashir Lagrav being congratulated. He is the world champion blitz champion.